Meet Sally Azhar, the first woman pastor from Palestine. Her landmark ordination in January took place at the Lutheran Church of the Redeemer, which is in the heart of Jerusalem's old city. It is very near the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, where Jesus Christ is believed to have been crucified, buried, and resurrected. She spent years preparing for that day and took inspiration from the biblical women who wanted to change something in the society. The Lutheran Church is part of the Protestant movement, which permits women pastors, unlike the Catholic or Orthodox branches of Christianity. There are just 3,000 Lutheran worshippers across the Holy Land and neighboring Jordan. Sally says she aims to inspire women globally to seek positions of high office, such as within political parties or in government. She hopes more women would study theology and be ordained as well. By being appointed as a pastor, this gives it an opportunity for not only women here, but women and not only in our Christian churches, but also in all the other religions, as well as um, all the other countries that where it's not possible to become a to become um, a minister or um, or part of a political party or whatever reason, whatever. Um, leading role there is in a society, um, I hope that this would be an encouragement to do it because I know being first is not the perfect, um, it's not, it's a lot of pressure and it's something that breaks a lot of grounds but at the same time once it's done um, things will follow after it and I hope that with that a lot of um, um, everyone will start doing it and they will um, finally have the courage to do that. She warns that Jerusalem's Christian community was getting smaller by number every day. And a lot of people are leaving due to the political situation and more young people are studying abroad and not coming back. Despite facing some opposition to her ordination, she pledged to use her work to show why it is important. There, were, there are some voices that are against it and I think you can never find anywhere in the world where uh, something is happening that some people are not against it. And this is the same, the same case here. And I know I've seen a lot of comments, I've seen a lot of people that are like, we don't support that, what are you doing? Even from the churches here, from the Orthodox and um, Orthodox, Orthodox churches that are, because it's new, I mean, I understand that. And 